Although preference is subjective and tailored bespoke to requirements, I will be showing you why them two budget headphones under 30 quid for kids and adults might just be the one for you. So I will be making a comparison between the Power Locus budget headphone and the K video headphones. So firstly, I will be reviewing the K video black headphones and comparing it with the Power Locus P2 wireless headphones. Just on visual inspection, the K video has got more of a conservative look and over the head reach, whilst the Power Locus has got more of a liberal or colorful look to it. But there is definitely more to them headphones than the aesthetics, so let's delve more into the functionality. Click on the link in the description for the K video and Power Locus comparison exposition or for the K video as a standalone as I will be fo focusing primarily on the Power Locus in this video and just about skimming through the K video for the functionality of the Power Locus P2. It's got a micro SD and TF card slot the microphone and micro USB charging port, LED indicator and headset jack, the MFB or multifunction button used for pairing and auto setting radio, short press the minus button to get the volume down and long press for the last song, short press the plus button for volume up and long press for the next song. And this button here is for playing, for pausing, for answering, for ending calls, rejecting calls, and last number redial. So the functionalities are quite similar with that of the K video, except for the memory card slot, the micro USB charging port instead of the Type C port, and it's got the radio station searching functionality or capability. When you stretch the headband cushion, it reveals a spring plastic bow as opposed to the spring steel bow in the K video. And you can see the purple power knob, you know, just on the side of the housing. And when you push the button to the right, the blue and the red LED indicators will begin to flash alternately, which essentially means that it is ready to pair and that it is wireless, just as in the case of the K video. For charging, insert the micro USB into its charging port and the other USB end should go into your computer. And also for the wired, insert the audio headset jack into its port and the corresponding port should go into um, the lightning adapter if you so desire. Or if you've got, you know, the 3.5 mil jack in your phone, just connect direct directly to your mobile phone. And so it's still flashing blue and red. So let's connect to our mobile phone to see if it syncs. Refresh or toggle the Bluetooth green button if you can't find the Power Locus P2 model on your Bluetooth list. Once it refreshes on your list as not connected, tap on the Power Locus P2 and it should connect to your headset. If it prompts you with a code, enter quadruple zero or four zeros. And if the pairing is successful, the blue light indicator starts flashing or the Bluetooth LED comes on. If the pairing isn't successful, switch off and on your headset and then repair again. And so let's test to see if, you know, it's a seamless Bluetooth sync with the mobile phone. So we go to the iTunes store, play the track Look Up Child by Lauren, and it plays the audio track without any glitches. I hear whisper underneath your and when you connect the 3.5 mil audio jack, the blue and red light which flashes, you know, stops flashing altogether and you, you only get a blue flashing light which means it's in the manual or wired setting. And if you look at your Bluetooth list, you will find that once you activate the manual or wired setting, it deactivates the Bluetooth. As shown here, you can see that the power locus has disconnected and is now not connected. 
And you can see that each time I disconnect the 3.5mm audio jack and connect it back into its port, the Bluetooth pairing disconnects and connects back and that's because it remembers the previous Bluetooth pairing connection. And when the mobile phone pairs again with the headset's Bluetooth connection, you should be able to receive your phone call with your headset or listen to radio, just like we've got here, with the audible radio sound. And here, the mobile phone is connected via Bluetooth to the headset and we'll be using the BT landline to ring the mobile phone and hopefully I should be able to answer that with the headset. To answer the incoming call, shot press the play, pause or the phone button and the call will be answered. To hang up, after receiving the call, use the play pause button, you know, just shot press. To reject the call without receiving it, long press the play pause button for about 2-3 to three seconds. Press the play pause button in quick succession twice for the last number redial. To activate Siri or Google Assistant, press the play pause button for about 3-5 to five seconds. Also, do note that when you dial out or when you receive a call and whilst music is playing with the Bluetooth on your headphones, the music will pause on until you're done or finished with the call. Then the music will continue to play. Suffice to say, the music enters a waiting or pause state. And so I will answer the test call coming in and have an answer with the headset. You can see the Bluetooth icon, which, which indicates that the mobile phone is still connected to the headset and that you can hear the active caller through your headset. In the power on mode, shot press the M button or the multifunction button and the FM radio will play automatically. Then long press the play pause button to auto search all radio stations. It takes 40 seconds to 1 minute for all the stations to be memorized. Then long press the plus sign or minus sign and you will listen to any radio station that you like. Do note that if you're listening to the FM radio, it is disconnected from Bluetooth and so if you make a call from a mobile, you will not hear it on the headphone set. Instead, you will have to speak through your mobile set for the phone call placed or the phone call received to get back into the Bluetooth mode. Shot press the M button and it should toggle back to the Bluetooth mode. And as you can see when I dial, the mobile set through the landline, the FM radio keeps playing which means that it is disconnected from Bluetooth.
and so when I intermittently press the M button it toggles between the FM radio and the Bluetooth mode so it's in the Bluetooth mode red and blue and when I press on the M button it goes back to FM radio press on it again it goes back to Bluetooth now it's in the FM radio mode so you know you just keep toggling the M button and it flicks from one state to what to the other state in conclusion, the K-Video and the Pav Locus have got similar features with minute differences. Although the Power Locus has got the radio and the call feature and also a trans flash card memory card where you can plug and play music, the K-Video has got a punchier sound, it's got Bluetooth and it feels like it's got a little bit of more quality to it. On the other hand, the Power Locus's manual could be better written. You know, it's got, you know, varying fonts, which is not uniform. And it feels like the, the native language is in English, despite the diction in the manual being written in English. So there is more room for improvement in that aspect. But besides that, you know, it's pretty decent and its functionalities are brilliant. And that's about it really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Goodbye.